Yeah, okay, mate. Let's have a look here at Wild. Uh, it definitely did have a wild move. Uh, beautiful yesterday. Uh, I'm not even sure what that was up on the end of. Um, yeah, 30%. So, um, well, the hope now that it will be stuck in this range for a bit to give opportunity to kind of get on board. Um, I suppose we could draw it a bit like that. There is a uh, reminiscence here of Matic in a way. Remember Matic when it absolutely exploded? I don't know if it's going to do the same or not. I'm, not. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that the pattern and the way it consolidated. Um, so the hope now would be that there would be some pullbacks and whatever way before it actually runs and builds consolidation here. Uh, that's not always guaranteed, of course. But, um, you know, in hindsight, it was a fairly simple trade in the fact that you know, it just kind of broke out of this sort of downtrend here. We had a flat base doji at the very bottom consolidation. The red 200 formed here, price supported by the red 200. It just ran. Of course, it's always easy in hindsight, but when we've seen this red 200 here, have to think it's uh, starting to get bullish. Uh, but you don't really expect it to move up that quick. But, you know, in the market, anything is possible. So, I mean, what you said here is, is pretty spot on. I like this. You're looking at the 12 hour chart as well. Um, down the bottom here, as you can see, you know, there would be support there. Uh, so it dips back into there. Definitely are interesting. I like this moving average structure on the 12 hour. Let's look at it. Um, so it is well spotted there. Like even, even here, if I would have seen that on a 12 hour, I would have been saying that is really, really bullish. You breaking out these low laying, so you get a huge drop. This is like what many of the altcoins are doing and what they did in the last bear market only on weekly or three day charts or whatever. You, you get the huge drop, but the huge drop is basically down into a pierce below the white 100, or sorry, the pierce below the red and purple 200 moving averages. Any bounce at all, these become low laying. And also there's a giant pressure cooker here uh, and low laying moving averages. So any move up at all means that you break out above all moving averages. And then all of these moving averages then become support. So this was actually fantastic, and and um, I don't think I was looking on the 12-hour chart, not on this coin anyway, at least. But if I would have seen this, I would have been uh, super bullish on it. So if we can see more situations like this, uh, it may be on the 12-hour for these new coins. Well, we should be looking for that. For example, on JTO, or it's a bit too early yet on JTO, I think, but some of the new coins anyway find these dips and find these pressure cookers with low laying moving averages. I mean, it really was as simple as the RSI here. Um, I mean, if you bought the RSI here, but you, you want to be buying below uh, structure, if possible, below the moving averages and stuff, if, if possible. Uh, and that get you the, just even the RSI here oversold was beautiful. You know, you never advise buying only the RSI, uh, but if there is other factors involved, it can really up those uh, chances. For example, you know, if you bought this RSI here, it's totally different, and uh, you know, it continued to move lower. But when you have other factors involved with the RSI, it can become very powerful. So yeah, it becomes very hard to FOMO into here. Uh, ideally, there should be some pullback, um, but this now looks bullish. See this white 100 moving average? This moving up? This in theory dips here wherever they wherever they do. I think we need to watch them. It's okay to be calling the 30. 38% retrace to the 50 or 61% retrace in the golden pocket in here. That that is um, that is a very very nice and normal place to be looking for that dip back down, just like you pointed out. As this white 100 and as all these other moving averages catch up with price, so we should watch this to see if we even can get a dip. Sometimes things go parabolic and you don't even get a dip. Um, although hopefully that doesn't happen. There's a lot of volume here. Maybe we'll get some dip off that volume volume in the past you can see here uh, it caused some sort of dip volume in the past caused some sort of dip uh, this is not huge volume though it's not as big as these as you can see here at long downtrend somebody was buying this up this was it still caused a dip though you still get a dip off breakout volume but you can see that dip was a buy but this was like market makers buying this off the lows and then they're probably still holding um, well we, we don't know if they're still holding there's eight days left in the two week candle and it is already pretty huge. So yeah, I, I think it's best to just wait and see if we can get some dip off this. It might require trading a new two week candle, for example. Uh, the weekly is also huge. We, um, well, there's only one day left. 
Uh, yeah, the nine week is pushed up very strong. It's good. It looks like it wants to go higher. I want to see a three month here. Yeah, look at these. Very, very nice. And it's a very much like Arkham in a way. Uh, it's kind of doing this sort of pattern. Looks like these are going to break out to the upside. Hopefully, they wait until a new quarter. If you're looking to trend FOMO and really want on board up here or something, you know, I would trade a new three day candle. However, I don't really think that that is uh, the best strategy. They, it can be sometimes when things go parabolic, uh, you know, to get on board on a, maybe a new three day candle and see if this can continue, get another candle up. Um, but, you know, that's up to yourself if you want to try that. But I would wait for that new three day candle. If you get a small dip down and a flip green, um, a little bit like what happened here, something like this, you know, it's something where you can manage your risk. Well, that would be where you want to get on board. We'll see how this one closes though first.